Former England and British and Irish Lions centre Brad Barrett was in South Africa recently to launch the Durban branch of his coffee business and he chatted to us about the importance of preparing for a life after rugby. So thankfully my family have always been really hot on me in terms of keeping interest outside of the game. Uh, fortunately in my early Sharks days I did an undergraduate uh, through NISA and a BCom. And since being in the UK, I completed a, a master's in business management through the University of Hertfordshire. So thankfully, the two organizations I've been most involved with, both the Sharks and Saracens, have been very accommodating and very encouraging in allowing players to pursue other avenues. So since completing that degree, I thought, why better to learn on the run and to launch your own company? Which is how the idea to start his coffee business, Tiki Tonga, came into being. Yeah, Tiki Tonga Coffee Roasters launched in the UK about two years ago. Um, a wholesale uh, coffee supply and retail arm. We do loads of events, supply businesses, restaurants, cafes, bars, clubs uh, throughout the UK. And we saw a great opportunity to launch a brand in South, brand in South Africa. Um, the whole ethos behind the brand is um, celebrating all the fantastic things about sport, how it brings people together, how it gets people to interact over coffee, in the age of uh, social media and technology, uh, we like to celebrate the opportunities for people to connect and using coffee as the vehicle. And we now saw a, a great opportunity to invest back in South Africa, in my hometown in Durban, a place that I'm hugely passionate about and love, and especially in the, the beautiful town of Amshlonga Rocks. As captain of Saracens, Brad's first priority is his rugby. However, the culture within the club has allowed him the time and freedom to explore business interests outside of the game. What we found at Saracens, especially in the last sort of seven, eight years, is that players who have an interest outside of the game can escape the mental breakdown of what rugby can be. I think to have an escapism, something that to focus your mind apart from what you do day, day in and day out on a rugby pitch, uh, makes for a more successful and well-rounded person. So. Instead of on your off day playing TV games or playing golf or playing to a restaurant, apply yourself to something that's going to help you in your future. So I was grateful to be at a club that encouraged that and you know, through my studies in the early years uh, to business and work experience I did and now to have launched uh, my own company and own brand, it's been a, a really great and enjoyable and rewarding um, time of my life. Brad was fortunate to represent England in the 2015 Rugby World Cup and he will be watching this year's tournament with keen interest. I think hugely exciting. I think it's probably one of the few World Cups we've gone into uh, not really knowing exactly what's going to happen. I think if you've seen the success of the European teams in the last 18 months, Ireland, Wales, England, all title contenders, um, that's probably what makes it a unique feel. I think South Africa are hugely resurgent under us Erasmus. They're definitely going to be a force. And again, the All Blacks are you know, the unstoppable force they've been. So I think in a really exciting um, World Cup going into Japan, something different, the climate that people are going to have to adapt to. It's going to be very hot that time of year. And obviously the Australians in big tournaments are always able to, to put in a big performance. So I think what we can go into is a, a World Cup that's very open, uh, one that's going to be very difficult for the form book to dictate. <laughs> 